2.2. Let's review real quick. Statement. It's a sentence in logic. That is either true or false and not both. It's not an opinion. Truth value is the truth or falsity of that statement. Negation. Making that statement the opposite of what it is. It is raining outside. It is not raining outside. Not is the negation of that. If your statement is it is not raining outside, then the negation of it is it is raining outside. That changes, gives a sentence the opposite meaning, the statement the opposite meaning also gives its truth value an opposite. Compound statements. Combination of two or more statements using the words and and are. Conjunction, compound statement using and. The disjunction, compound statement using R. Also, we had several symbols. We represent statements with P, Q, R, S, T. Okay, simple lowercase letters. The not, a little squiggly mark in front of it, looks like this. Looks like this right here, not P, not Q. And, looks like this. Or it looks like this. In fact, let's write those up here. This is P and Q. This is P or Q. This is not P and Q. This is not P and not Q. Okay? So let's look at this and let's look at a truth value in a way, a truth table, and a way to organize the truthness, the falseness of a statement. Let's take the two statements we started out with. They're fairly simple. Statement P, we're going to say is Austin is a city in the state of Texas. Now the truth value of that statement is it's true. Okay, it's true. Statement Q is Austin is the capital of Texas, and the truth value of that statement is also true. Now we can negate statement P, negate it, by saying Austin is not. Put a big old not in there, not a city in the state of Texas. Truth value of this statement, this statement is false. Why? Because Austin is a city in the state of Texas. Now we can also negate Q, make it a not, by saying Austin is not the capital of Texas. The truth value of that is also false. Why? Because Austin is the capital. So you see a statement is either true or false. Okay? The negation, if the statement is true, the negation is going to be false and vice versa. Alright, let's come over here and represent the truths and falseness. And we have to represent in a truth table all the possibilities, whether they are correct or not. So we're going to represent all the possibilities. So P is represented in red, so all the possibilities are we can have T, T, F, and F. Well, why four? As you're going to see here in just a minute, because I've got this over here. When P is true, Q can be true. It can also be false. When it's false, Q can be true, and it can also be false. I'm going to tell you it's going to save you a lot of pain and agony if you'll just set up your truth table for two statements like this. Now let's go over here. If P is true, not P is going to be what? False. P is true, not P is going to be false. If P is false, not P is going to be true. And again, it's going to be true. Seems fairly simple, doesn't it? Don't get lost in the detail. If Q is true, then not Q is going to be false. If, if Q is false, not Q is going to be true. If Q is true, not Q is going to be false. If Q is false, not Q is going to be true. Alright? Now, let's look at the combination of these. And let's see how it works out when we begin to put them into compound sentences. Okay? Or compound statements. <clears throat> In order for our conjunction to be true, that's using and, both statements have to be true. 
compound would be, P and Q would be, Austin is a city in Texas and Austin is the capital of Texas. For that statement to be true, both of these have to be true. Am I correct? Right. Okay, so let's look at this. If P and Q are true, both of them are true, P and Q is true. If one of them is false, the conjunction is going to be false. P is true, Q is false, conjunction is going to be false. P is false, T is true, the conjunction is going to be false. They're both false, then it's false. Okay? Make sense? The only time a conjunction can be true is when both of the statements are true. Now let's look at the disjunction. Okay? Or, using or. Austin is a city in Texas, or Austin is the capital of Texas. Well, that can be true if either one of them are there. Why? Because either condition can be true. So if P is true, it's going to be true. When's P true? Chunk, chunk, it's true there. Doesn't matter if Q is false. Why? Because P is true. Well, what about if Q is true? Q is true here. Austin is not a city in Texas, or Austin is the capital of Texas. One of them's true. This has to be true. How about this one? If they're both false, then the disjunction is also false. Okay? Conjunction. When both of those statements are true, then it's true. Otherwise, it's false. Disjunction. If one of the statements is true, it's true. If both of them are false, then it's false. Well, let's play some games is let's say not P and Q. When is that going to happen? That would be Austin is not a city in Texas and Austin is the capital of Texas. When can that possibly be true? Remember this is a conjunction because it has and in. So we now look at not P column in this one. Well, what do we say? In order for an and to be true, a conjunction to be true, what has to happen? They both have to be true. Got it? So can this happen? These two? That would be false. How about this one? We said both of them have to be true. So this would be false. Whoa, looky here. At the point in time when Q is true and not P is true, then this would be true. And down here, it would be false. So the only time that this conjunction would be true is if not P is true and Q is true. Well, is not P true? No. It's false. So what do we know about this? This is always going to be false for us, okay? The only time it could possibly be true is if not P is true, and it's not true. Okay? Seems a little confusing. Study it, look at it. These are the basics. This right here is the basics. P's and Q's. Mind your P's and Q's. Now we know what mom and dad were talking about. Mind your P's and Q's. Keep track of your P's and Q's. Make sure they're where they need to be. P, not P. Q, not Q. P and Q. P or Q. Okay? And then combinations thereof. Alright? By using that right there, we can do a whole lot with truth tables. And, um, determine the truthfulness of some very complex statements. Next thing we'll do is uh, we'll do some examples. Uh, this is truth tables. You have the definitions of logic, vocabulary, and then you have how to use and set up a truth table, a simple truth table. The next thing we'll do, uh, the next part is to do some sample exercises.
I want to look at this truth table in just a little bit different way. What I've done is I've circled the actual truth value of each statement. And then the only logical outcomes of the other items. For instance, P we know is true. So I circled those two. Q we know is true. So these are the only two possibilities. Now, if P is true, then not P is false. So these are true, are possible. These are correct truth values. Now when we combine here P and Q, P and Q both have to be true. What's the only statement that can possibly result in true and is correct when they're both true? I've got this and this. We know these two exist. So therefore, the only possibility in this whole column to, be, to exist is this one right here. Now, let's look at this one here. P or Q. The only possibility we have of that taking place is this right here. Got it? Because we're looking at P and Q. What's the truth value of each one of those? They're both true. So what's the only possibility that exists for that statement? It's got to be true. It doesn't have a choice. It has to be true. Now, why didn't we circle these? Well, this handles all of those situations. Yes, this would also be there also. But we know that Q is not false. We know it's true. So this would be the only possible outcome of that combination. Now let's look at not P and Q. Well, what's not P? It's F. Well, anything combined with AND and F is going to be false. So what's the only possible outcome of these two? That. So the only outcome that exists for not P and Q is false. Well, let's read not P and Q. Austin is not a city in Texas, and Austin is the capital of Texas. That's a false statement. Why? Because Austin is a city in the state of Texas. Okay? Just a little bit to help you, a way to mark the truth table. Again, if this doesn't help you in understanding this, and this only confuses you, you know what to do with it. Ignore it, get rid of it. Come up with your own way of marking the table to have meaning for you. Okay, let's go on to some examples in the next lecture.